Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Mom. Bye, Bodie. Bye, Papa. Bye, Baby. We're going to bring... Bodie Allen, we're going to bring your puppy back home, okay? Be careful. Oh, thank you for the kissy, Bubba. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Oh, bye. Yo! What up, guys? And welcome back to another one. Yep, me and Dad, we're heading out. Just got the oil changed on the truck. We are headed to go get Frederick the Duck Dog himself. They released him this morning. They called about uh, right at two hours ago. I just got done editing a video and uploading it, and it was a little after 9 o'clock. The vet in Nashville, Tennessee called, and they're like, hey, you can come get him. They know that I'm from Kansas, and they know that we have an 11-hour drive. So they tried to call me as early as possible, and great. We already have a train. That's epic. But nonetheless, been waiting on this day for quite a while. I know you guys have too. Like I told you guys before, I haven't even met Fred. We haven't met Fred. No one's met Fred. He's been sicky. He's had the parvo. So, we're headed that way to uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know how far we're going to make it. Uh, Will, the guy I'm getting him from, is actually going to be able to pick him up and start driving this way. So, wherever we're at at the time he picks him up, we'll basically meet in the middle wherever that's at. Dang, Dad, you over there jamming or what? I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm sleeping with my eyes wide open. Yeah. We've been on the road for, I don't know, two hours now? Going on two hours. Uh, just been gabbing. And now we're finally over here in the Flint Hills of Kansas. But, um, yeah, I don't know what there is to really film in Kansas or on this journey, I do know we're slicing right through southern Missouri, the, just a little sliver of Arkansas, and then that's where we get into Tennessee. And uh, like I said, Will is gonna be driving and meeting us wherever halfway is when he starts driving, which I think he's gonna end up picking up Fred around probably 4.30, so. Yeah, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a really late night for me and Dad. We're probably going to, me, Dad, and Fred will probably have to end up sleeping in a hotel somewhere. But, uh, yeah, 11 hours one way. But, again, thank you all for, for just being supportive of, of Fred and, and giving me all your guys' tips on this Parvo deal. You guys have really came through. That, that one video on the announcement of, of Fred, you guys really, really came through and gave me your tips on how to take care of them with this parvo so we're gonna keep trucking a mcdouble mill large sized with uh, a, a mill. do you have a mcdouble yes i do can i have a large drink and a large fry with that what would you like to drink uh dr pepper and then i'll take a number six with sweet and sour sauce with a dr pepper as well It's funny, every time I say a McDouble, I'll take a McDouble meal, they're always like, well, we don't have that. And I'm like, why can't you just make it? Well, we've been on the road forever. We're almost to Mountain Grove, Missouri. That is uh, <clears throat> about 10 miles up the road here. And the plan is, Will left his place. He actually left the vet hospital with Fred on board about 30 or 40 minutes ago. So, in roughly two and a half hours, we will meet him, and all in all, Will's going to save us about two and a half, three hour drive time, which is awesome. So, me, Dad, and Fred, we're going to have to get us a hotel room tonight, and uh, yeah, but two, two and a half hours, we should be there. Drink. Oh, no, I'm good for a minute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, some caffeine, do you? Oh, yeah, you got another monster. Oh, man, we have been driving our butts off. We finally made it to Quinn. Are we in Missouri? This Missouri? This is Missouri. Right, Still? This is right on the border. Yeah, we're like right on the border of the Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee line here, you know. And uh, Quinn, Missouri. It's tiny, 458 is the population here. But this is where we're meeting Will and Fred, finally. We get to meet old Fred, huh? How awesome. And uh, 
want more of a casual way to meet than not a convenience store in BFE. Look, Quinn's not BFE. I'm just saying it's in the middle of nowhere. It's tiny. Yeah, that's might be where we're having dinner right there tonight. So it has an open sign on her. Well, the moment y'all been waiting for, poor guy, he's been sick, and let me tell you, there he is. Oh, poor guy, look at him. He's lost some weight in the old hospital. What's up, man? Talk about a cutie. Holy smokes. You imagine how many ducks are going to be in your mouth, dude? A lot. A bunch. Old Frederick. Will, up, nice to finally meet you, man. Me too. Thanks a bunch, dude. Oh, absolutely. It's been an honor and a pleasure. It's fun, man. So, a lot of you guys know the story is Will hit me up. I think it was on Instagram, wasn't yeah. it? I think it's been so long now. It's been a while. And he was like, dude, I'm going to have a litter. Do you want one? I'm, I'm pleasured to give you one. And I was like, dude, of course. So, insane story now with the Parvo. And, and we were originally going to fly Fred to Kansas. But he got Parvo. And then that said, they said you can't fly a dog within, what is it, a year or a two year, years? Because you've got to have a health certificate. Yeah. So it's like a year after they're done with Parvo, you got to have a health certificate to fly. Poor guy, though, we got to get you fattened back up. Will was like, man, I'm embarrassed to give you him right now because he looks horrible. And I'm like, dude, it's Parvo. It's all right. But thanks again, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it. It's nice of it. It's that this is what makes it worth the channel. Having the channel. People like you guys, people like Will. It's awesome, man. Like you're supposed to, and then we get you back. Like was he in worse shape <laughs> than he is now? Oh no, he looked way better when he originally took him in. He he had thrown up once that morning, and I had that appointment to get him updated again. A lot of vets do it one that four months and then quit, but just because they're around so many, you know, an extra dose of everything doesn't hurt. Right. So I always get them at six months, and then again at a year. Right. So I had that appointment scheduled, and he threw up that morning. I just didn't think anything of it. I was like, just ate something, doesn't feel good. And then he had gotten sick and had diarrhea. And was like, that's not great either. Yeah. But then at that point, it wasn't bad. There right. Was a little bit of blood, but it wasn't just absolutely nasty. And they smelt his breath and looked at his gums and they were oh, like, Oh, really? Yeah, we need to test him. And I was like, I didn't know Darn you could it. tell a dog had parvo by their breath. By their breath. All I'll right, be done. Cool. Good to know in the future. Oh, him but... a pretty boy. Him a pretty boy. He's, he's ready. That tail it. starts wagging a little bit every now and then. You can tell. He ain't feeling the greatest yet so far, but he's getting back there. He needs a bath for indefinitely. He stinks. That but boy, you stank. And they gave him one <laughs> right before I picked him up. Oh, really? Yeah. 1042. 10:42. That's about the time we left this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. About 10:30 or 11. About 10:30. Oh, we're sitting 12 hours deep. We're in the hotel parking lot. We're staying at the at the nice Hilton. We picked a nice one tonight. Old Frederick's gonna get him a good night's sleep. He's actually been eating. Uh, I put down uh, water. He's been drinking a ton of water. And uh, he's just been pretty mellow. Been in a really good mood. His tail just won't stop wagging. He is. He's, he's been in a pretty good mood tonight, haven't you, bud? He is such a good dog. Literally, I've only got to spend probably, I don't know, an hour worth, maybe an hour. He'll go, he'll, he'll kind of just follow his nose, maybe 15, 20 foot away from you. And uh, all you gotta do is say his name and tap your knee and he is right there. And he plops his butt right down. He is such an obedient guy. Even when he's sick, he is extremely obedient. We are gonna get along extremely good this is gonna be an awesome thing I mean he just wants to serve you can tell will I gotta tell you if you haven't followed my buddy will he's he's who breeds uh, Fred and he this isn't his first litter by no means this this was not his first rodeo believe that uh, if you want to get in contact with will uh, about any dogs if you're if you're looking into breeding a dog 
get a hold of him right here on Instagram. Shoot him a DM. Uh, he does amazing things with dogs. Insane breeder, insane trainer. It was just a fluke deal how uh, Fred got Parvo. It was a stray dog that came in. So and it was a direct thing. Fred was probably curious and sniffed his butt a little too much probably. So it's not the first time that uh, anybody's ever heard of treatment uh, failing for Parvo. It happens all the time. It actually happened to my mother-in-law a few litters ago. She breeds Great Danes and she actually lost a puppy like two litters ago uh, to Parvo and they had their full vaccinations. So it, it happens, you know. All vaccinations don't always work perfectly and sometimes with a full dose of Parvo right to the old nose, like that's what probably happened it hit him like a freight train but I can tell you he's happy he's a happy guy you can tell he just keeps feeling better and better look at that tail he'll start he'll start wagging her back there won't you bud he is he's such an obedient guy but we're all probably gonna hit the hay we are tired straight exhausted out here <sighs> well good morning Fred here look at him he is feeling good he was jumping around just a minute ago weren't you bud he had a good night you're a good boy he really is such a good boy you can tell everybody at home hi say hello my name's frederick the duck dog hello he's such a good boy he's a sweetheart but we're just letting fred get a little bite and a little drink here Oh, it's starting to rain pretty heavy. We better get in. It's starting to come down, isn't it? <laughs> it's pouring. Woo. Well, finally on the road here. We got an early start today. Just about the time that I wanted to leave. Left right at 7 o'clock. Should be home at <coughs> 2 or 3. And I'll tell you what, the whole family, both them babies and mama, they are just biting at the bullet for Fred to get home. I'm serious. They've Daddy, can you send me snaps and pictures and this and that? They're ready to see Fred. And Fred is ready to get out of that kennel and out of a truck, I can guarantee it. But we do have to give Fred his medicine today. He got two different medicines for the Parvo. Check it out. It is a beautiful morning. Just rolling down the highway. Got a little bit of rain. Keep going through patches of fog, rolling hills. You don't get that kind of scenery in Kansas. What are you doing, bud? He's being a happy boy. He says, I've been getting some little sausages and all sorts of stuff. We got to get him fattened up. I know that. So one thing I need from y'all is he's skinny. He lost a lot of weight with the Parvo. So if I could ask for any help, it'd probably be, what's your go-to tips of fattening Fred up? It has to still be healthy. We don't want to get him off his normal diet. I tried to feed him... Uh, a little bit of a breakfast burrito from McDonald's earlier. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're nasty enough. Not Most humans don't even want to eat them. But Fred, was, he didn't even like it. He must just be used to dog food and dog food only, which is good. It's really good. Um, but I would like to increase his uh, diet here with anything that might work. Because we need to put the, the meat back on the bone. So, if you guys have any good recipes that I need to scheme up for them or anything, drop a comment down below. Whenever we do this, it always ends up working out so well and helping me out a ton. So, I appreciate it. Woo! <laughs> uh, we're finally in Wichita. I don't ever like being in Wichita, but it feels good to be in Wichita. Oh my goodness. All we got is 30 miles home and we are done. Poor Fred. I think we just stopped for the fifth time. He's actually uh, he's actually been eating and drinking really, really well. So you can tell like little by little, every time he eats a little bit more, he starts feeling a little bit better. I'm telling you what, that damn Parvo, if it wasn't for Parvo, we could have flew him. But maybe it's all for a reason. Maybe this is this whole journey is just to build the legacy of old Fred. Well, it is the next day after getting home with old Fred. When I got home yesterday, the kids were so excited to see Fred. Fred wanted to play. He was ready to run around the yard. I just left the camera in the truck, and that's what we did. We played with Fred, and we just enjoyed some family time. Let's see what Fred's doing in here. 
What are you doing? Oh, you need to go potty? Oh, gee, my name Chris. What are you doing, man? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, Frederick? You say hi to everybody. Say hello, hello, everybody. Yep. He's looking a little better already, but we still have to fatten him up. Last night, we fed him a little bit of our grilled chicken that we cooked. And uh, he seemed to like it quite a bit, obviously, you know, but he's not really eating a ton of dog food. I wish he'd eat a lot more than he is, uh, but he nibbles at it every now and then. Uh, let's actually go see how much he ate. Yeah, he piddled in it a little bit again. You need to eat, man. You need to eat. But yeah, Fred's just chilling in the shop during the daytime. I figured I'd put his uh, water bowl and his food bowl out here. And so that would give him an area so he didn't have to be cooped up in a kennel or, or something like that. Because my backyard here, I don't want to leave him back here by himself for too long because I have a couple holes in the fence. So, and then on top of that, I don't want him mingling with the dogs inside too much because they said he could be contagious up to three weeks. And our dogs are up to date on their shots and stuff, but they're very old. Our dogs are old, so I don't want to chance it, you know. So this is the plan. We're gonna keep some separation in between him and the other dogs as much as we can. We have let them get to know each other a little bit, but when too much butt sniffing starts going on, that's when I'm like, okay, you guys, uh, you guys separate a little bit. Poor guy. Look at his little leg. Let me see your leg. Look, he said that's where they had my IV in me. Poor guy. He's such a sweetheart, though. I'm telling you what, that tail never stops wagging. He's not too energetic whatsoever. He's very well behaved, aren't you, buddy? He's very well behaved around the kids. He doesn't jump on you. He doesn't jump on the kids. He doesn't jump up on your, you know, when you when they jump up here. He he knows better. He is such a good dog. I'm so excited. So excited to get some birds in your mouth, boy. Yesterday I was throwing the ball with Jax a little bit and he got so excited. He was wanting to retrieve that ball so bad. So I don't want to start running him and him exerting a bunch of energy yet. That's why I'm I'm waiting to start, you know, fetching it and stuff like that. I want to get him healthy. We got to get some meat on him, like I said. Oh, but I'm telling you what, this little guy here will not leave my side. He's on my heels everywhere I go. I come out of the house, he's on my heels. I go in the house, he's on my heels. I come back here and sit in the flower chair and do my Instagram business. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, follow me right here. Uh, I'll have a lot more photos and videos of Fred training and retrieving and working him. But, like I said, we got to get him fattened up, don't we, Frederick? Such a good dog. He just wants a bunch of loving. And he's ready to start working. I know. I know you are. But, again, guys, thank you so much for your support. Without you guys, uh, all these helpful tips and what I'm doing with Fred, just keeping him separated from the other dogs keeping his feces cleaned up out of the yard from the other dogs. All these little helpful tips came from you guys. So I've never had to deal with Parvo before. And <clears throat> you guys are going to be a lot of help along the way here. You guys are going to, I know it, you guys are going to help me with training tips. You're going to help me with retrieving tips, blind retrieves. There's a lot of that stuff that I still have to learn with old Fred. Like I said, he's such a lover. He is such a sweet boy. We've already had a lot of fun with Fred. We're going to enjoy him for a lot of years to come. Big shout out to Will Patton. If you haven't followed Will on Instagram, you need to. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, I really appreciate you guys being here. Fred, you want to do the outro?